Snapshot Story with Pat Kilbane. I had a little time off work today, and so I decided to go buy myself a fruit drink. But when I got to my parking space, I noticed there was a different car there. I know. I'd better go and talk to the lot manager, Mr. Davis. And so I walked and walked over to where Mr. Davis was. He was glad to see me. We talked about golf, race car driving, and dancing. Then I told Mr. Davis that there was another car in my spot, and my car was gone. Mr. Davis said, "Let's go over there right now and get to the bottom of this." We walked and walked right over to the scene of the crime. Well, here it is. I said. You're right," said Mr. Davis. "That's not your car in the least. That's what I was telling you," I said. "Well, you were right," said Mr. Davis. "I wonder where your car is." "I don't know," I said. "And I really want that fruit drink." Suddenly, Andrew Bowen, an actor I act with on the show, walked up to us. Is this your car, Andrew? Asked Mr. Davis. Yes, said Andrew. We explained to Andrew that this was my spot, and you shouldn't just park anywhere you want. I asked him where my car was. When he didn't answer, Mr. Davis asked him where my car was. Apparently, he had no idea. I told him how much I liked working with him. And then I would pick him up a fruit drink. Andrew apologized, saying it was all his fault and that it would never happen again. Mr. Davis and I said that it was no problem, and we all had a good laugh at the mix-up. That's when I noticed my car was parked in a different spot. Obviously, somebody moved my car from my spot. And parked it in Andrew's spot. Who could have done such a thing? I said. Andrew and Mr. Davis said they would find out who did it and make sure it never happened again. It's nice to have such good friends. And so I was off to get my fruit drink after all. I think we all learned a lesson today. Always respect the parking spot of others. This has been a snapshot story with Pat Gilbert.